All right, what's up everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to the Pro Football Exclusive Scout Report. Here to give you a report on safety, Hashan Clinton Dix out of the University of Alabama. What a great player as a Crimson Tide member and I think he could be one of the top players in the first round of this year's NFL Draft. Now I think he has the potential to become an elite player at the next level in the National Football League. Now I'm going to give you a quick little bio about him, his history coming from the University of Alabama. He was actually one of seven true freshmen back in 2011. 11 to play. He got a little bit of playing time, but that breakthrough year where he caught a lot of people's attention was in 2012 where he led the team with five interceptions and he had a great performance against Notre Dame in that national championship, helping this Crimson Tide get that national title. In 2013, he had 52 tackles, four pass breakups, and two interceptions. And he, everybody, he caught a lot of attention, especially after that national championship. And he was actually one of, on the Jim Thorpe Award watch list, given to the nation's top premier defensive back and I think he he had a good season overall. A little bit of a down year, but I'll explain that a little bit later on. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of strengths about him. Now, he has a rare combination of size, speed, ball skills, and football instincts. He has good awareness in attacking the football and knowing where the football is and in passing, passing attack as well as in run defense. Now, he possesses a lanky athletic build with good light feet. He has good feet to move from to change directions and has good fluid hips to use to change the directions. And I think he, because of his good speed, he, his speed, he runs a 4 5, five forty, and that's a good um Good um, speed at 208 pounds and six foot one. Good size. He came out as a junior, so that shows that he has a lot of potential. Now he still has some things, areas where he needs to improve. One example: he sometimes plays aggressively and overplays. Where he sometimes plays too aggressively, and on occasions he will overplay, play action fakes, and he can and he can get caught up sometimes, especially in that Sugar Bowl against Oklahoma, where um they were just getting passed on all game, and it was a terrible performance on his part. And he can sometimes get fooled by misdirections which is very key now sometimes he um, plays like at, like a linebacker and he barrels towards the line of scrimmage giving good nifty athletes cutback lanes in which we, he can be exploited he needs to improve at that and stop trying to be too much like a linebacker you have your already have your linebackers there at outside linebacker as well as the inside linebacker he could should be he is still great support but he sometimes he overplays it sometimes giving on um, cutback lanes which he does need to work on now this particular player he delivers a huge huge hit. He could give you an intimidating hit, but sometimes when he lowers his shoulder, he does not wrap up to to, to uh, follow up on the, on the tackle, to complete the tackle. Sometimes when you don't wrap up, good running backs, especially the bigger running backs in the National Football League, they will definitely bounce off of those big hits. He can still lay out, lay the smack down on you, but I still think he just needs to work on that, that's the full technique in tackling and wrapping up to complete the tackle and follow through all the way. Just like basketball, what some people like tell you when you should extend your elbow bit to follow through your shot. That's the same thing like tackling. Not just only deliver the big hit, but wrap up and follow through to complete the tackle. Now those are just a couple of things that he needs to work on. But this particular player has so much potential. He reminds me of Earl Thomas out of Seattle Seahawks where he has good agility, great football instincts, and ball skills. Earl Thomas is an all-pro, and I think that Clinton Dix can be the same guy. Now one team in particular who definitely had their eyes on him is the Pittsburgh Steelers at pick 15. Now, I'm not 100% sure that he will be be there at that particular pick or if Pittsburgh will pick him, but they definitely had their eyes on him. I've been reading a lot of reports and seeing a lot of interviews and, and um, Tom, um, Mike Tomlin and company is looking at him and the defensive side to support Troy Palomalu and, and in the overall secondary for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And that could be a good pick for Pittsburgh, but I still think he could be an outstanding player for any team in the National Football League. I think he has so much potential, especially coming out as a junior. Still think that he needs to improve on, but I still think he could be a good Pro Bowl caliber safety at the next level. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is tomorrow, where I will give you two more scout reports on the defensive side of the field, and I'll catch you guys then, and then on Friday, I will give you um, my top five inside linebackers. Thank you for watching today's blogs from Pro Football Exclusive. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.